I took the world's cheapest and most underrated business class flight. This is a video you don't want to miss. What you're about to witness is an incredible luxury experience on a plane for less than a hundred bucks. And no, I did not spend any miles on top of that. But how's that possible? Well, ask Batik Air. The Malaysian carrier, formerly known as Malindo Air, is part of the infamous Lion Air group. Malindo Air, respectively Lion Air, gained notoriety worldwide due to serious safety issues and numerous crashes. Investigators are recovering pieces of a Lion Air flight that crashed into the sea off Indonesia this morning. The European Good. Union had banned Lion Air from flying in EU airspace over safety concerns. Well, the incident is putting a spotlight on the airline's safety record. Lion Air has been involved in six accidents since 2000. With the rebranding of Malindo Air to Batik Air, the airline, however, is now trying to move away from its dark past. Nevertheless, Batikair continues to go the extra mile to convince passengers to fly with them again. For Batikair's passengers, this means first-class experiences at budget airline prices. So without further ado, let's jump right into my Batikair business class experience. Today's journey starts in Thailand's capital of Bangkok. After being stuck in Bangkok traffic for almost two hours, we make it to Don Muang, the smaller one of two international airports in Bangkok. Since there is no queue at the economy counter, we skip the occupied priority check-in, which would have been included in this ticket. Unfortunately, priority lines at security and passport control are currently unavailable at Don Mon. We wait for about 30 minutes before heading to the Coral Lounge, located right next to the duty-free area. Small disclaimer right here, Botic Air's business class light package actually comes without lounge access. Considering the low fare, that's completely acceptable in my opinion. However, thanks to my priority pass, we can still indulge in a full business class lounge experience. Coral Lounge is an incredible place and just shows again that business class lounges in Thailand are among the best in the world. Not only does Coral Lounge at Don Mung feature a wide selection of freshly made Thai and Western cuisine, every guest actually gets to enjoy a 15 minutes Thai massage completely free of charge on top of that. When it's time to head to the gate, my anxiety rises a bit. Due to my experience with safety incidents on other airlines, I question myself if it was really worth it to choose a carrier with such a bad safety record. However, as of what I've heard, Botic Air and Lion Air have improved a lot. And also it turned out that the 737 MAX Lion Air crash in 2018 wasn't even the fault of Lion Air, but of Boeing. Arriving at the gate, the Botic Air approaching turns out to be of Botic Air Indonesia arriving from Jakarta. While at scheduled boarding time, our plane is still nowhere to see. I do some plane spotting at the end of the terminal that features a 270 degree view of the tarmac and runway 03 left. About 45 minutes after departure time, Botic Air 737 MAX arriving from our destination of Kuala Lumpur touches down safely at Don Wang. Boarding is quite hectic and even though there's a priority line, no one really respects it. After scanning our ticket, I'm excited to embark. However, I have to be patient as a long queue forms at the dock. Finally, when the line begins to move after almost 30 minutes, we're greeted kindly by the crew. They apologize for the delay on speaker and serve non-alcoholic pre-departure beverages. So also, I was actually once in a bit of boarding is kind of the marks, but that's what it's for trust. But for now, I think we should take off and leave Thailand before I show you more. Apart from us and two other passengers, the business class cabin is completely empty, which gives the crew enough time to dedicate themselves to a great service. But for now, let's check out the seat. We've got a nice looking business class seat, which is in perfect condition and that puts all 737 business classes of premium airlines in Europe to shame. The seat provides an excellent recline situation, a power outlet, two USB outlets, enough storage space, a cushion and an in-flight entertainment system 
which we will have a closer look at later. In addition, the crew distributes Panasonic stereo headphones and we also receive a full amenity kit on a flight of only two and a half hours. There is no printed menu, however, the crew approaches us after takeoff and gives us the choice between four different dinner options. Just by comparison, on so called premium airlines in business class, there is often only a sandwich on intra European routes, which cost way more, by the way. The crew is lovely and incredibly friendly. She keeps checking up on us, always with a huge smile on her face and joking and chatting around with us. No need to say that we feel very welcome on board. When food is served, I'm blown away. We ordered green curry and chicken biryani and I have to say that this was probably one of the best meals I've ever been served on an airplane. No lie, the chicken gave me goosebumps in a good way. It comes with a filled roll and a carrot cake. The crew is incredibly attentive and keeps offering to refill our drinks. If you want to feel like a king without spending a lot of money, you really need to fly Baltic Air in business class. After dinner, I take a closer look at the in-flight entertainment. In addition to an in-flight magazine, Baltic Air's business class seat features a large screen that can be operated by touch. The selection of 21 movies and 11 TV shows is more than enough for the short flight distance. The entertainment situation is great, but it would have been perfect if the flight map had worked or if there had been Wi-Fi on board. Sooner than we wish, we are already approaching Kuala Lumpur. So before we land, I take a quick look at the business class only lavatory. There is no choice of amenities, however we do have our amenity kit. What's important is that the toilet is clean and fully functional, which is absolutely the case on this flight. The only major drawback of this flight is the delay, which becomes even worse on our approach to Kuala Lumpur. Due to heavy traffic, we circle over Malaysia's capital for another 30 minutes before we further descend. The landing is smooth and despite the delay, the crew spirits are high. I'm actually somewhat sad that the flight is already over, as I bid farewell and set foot on Malaysian soil for the first time in my life. The terminal one we arrive at is beautiful and at the priority immigration line we are received by a friendly young officer who stamps us into the country with no fuss. The blessing crown experience in Kuala Lumpur rounds off our business class journey. Things can be different, however, as you will see in this video of Vietnam Airlines Business Class, where a poor ground experience messed up our business class flight on board the 787. In case you are more interested in budget airlines, you can find my review of Scoot, a low-cost airline from Singapore, on the right side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching and see you next week. Bigger. So bigger than that. <laughs>